724 this morning and today city of Columbia voters will head back to the ballot box to decide if the capital city should change its current form of government on the table a mayor council form of government versus a council manager form of government joining me now this morning Columbia's mayor himself Steve Benjamin thank you so much mayor for thank being you. here this thank morning you for having me this morning a uh, very big day a very big decision to it's weigh in on it is an important day for the uh, mm -hmm. city of Columbia and the future of the city in this metropolitan area uh, the question before voters is whether or not we have the most accountable form of government available to the people of Columbia as we prepare for what I believe will be incredible growth over the next 20 and 30 years. Uh, I've been an advocate of the Mayor Council, also known as the Strong Mayor Form of Government, since I was a student uh, in public administration classes uh, at the University of South Carolina. And I've watched with mayors like Joe Riley in Charleston mm -hmm. and mayors around the country in cities as far away as uh, Los Angeles and San mm -hmm. Francisco or uh, here in the southeast like Atlanta and, and uh, Washington DC and Louisville are able to do to lead their cities boldly into this wonderful new global economy. Uh, what's probably the most important issue, the most important ingredient is who's held accountable uh, when things go well and when things go wrong. Uh, as we watch our water and sewer infrastructure crumble under our feet, the taxpayers and ratepayers have a bill of $750 million because we haven't invested over the last 30 or 40 years. Mm -hmm. Who's held accountable for that? Um, as, we, as we fight gangs in our streets and crime in our, in our, in our, in our neighborhoods, while we also have a revolving door at the City of Columbia's uh, Police Department and the Chief's Office, who, who's held accountable uh, for that? Um, when the City of Columbia couldn't close its books uh, for several years and paid some bills two, three, and four times, um, who's held accountable for that? The reality is no one's held accountable for that. Under this form of government, mm -hmm. the mayor has the responsibility to deliver for the people. He answers, or he or she answers directly to the people. And if, in fact, the mayor does not perform well, if, in fact, the chief of police doesn't perform well, then the mayor's held accountable for that. And he, and he has to stand in judgment before the voters uh, every four years to do so. Now, you mentioned crime and who's accountable for that, and we've seen, you know, over the past few months it seems like uh, uh, there's been a huge focus sure. on crime. What do you say to those critics out there who say, well, you know, Mayor, what are you going to do to protect my neighborhood? How does this strong mayor form of government protect my neighborhood? What can you do more for those people in my community to keep me safe? Sure. Well, I, and I think that's a central question mm -hmm. of everything that we need to discuss as, as leaders, whether you're on the state, uh, national, or local level, particularly on the local level, the number one job of any elected official has to be public safety. Uh, people won't live in the city, people won't ask their employees to live in the city, uh, people won't raise their families in the city if they don't feel the city is safe. Our law enforcement officers are working their tails off every single day to keep our communities safe. They need stable and sound leadership at the Columbia Police Department that's able to make decisions. Mm -hmm. Our challenge at, at the CPD right now is that we have able leadership, but able leadership is not able to run the department. We have a chief of police who reports to an assistant city manager, who then has to report to a city manager, who then has to report to seven members of council. So you think there's too, there's oh, too uh, many it's, levels, it's too, too many levels. people in, in the, the mix. The chief of police needs to report to the mayor. Mm -hmm. If the chief does a great job, mm -hmm. the entire city benefits. If the chief does a poor job, the chief gets fired. If he's not fired, then the mayor's held accountable. We need to know when things fall apart who exactly to hold accountable. And, and, I, believe, and I, I believe in my heart of hearts that that will lead to a much safer city. I, I, as you may know, um, I served as, as, as director of the state's second largest law enforcement agency, as director of probation, parole, right. and pardon services under Jim Hodges. We had a 650 sworn officers, 950 total employees, a $43 million staff. We managed uh, through difficult budget times, and we worked every single day to keep the people of South Carolina safe. We can do that in Columbia. and We need the ability to work closely with our sheriff, to have the, the sheriff uh, of Richland County say that he can't coordinate operations uh, with the City of Columbia Police Department because the chief has too many levels of authority he has to go through in order to get something done. We can do better. We owe the people of Columbia more, and I aim to do that uh, with this new authority. Last question in, involving a strong mayor. Say, you know, down the line, this question came up earlier this morning, there is someone who's elected mayor who doesn't have your background, who doesn't bring to table the experience that you have, and they're now in this strong mayor system. Does this kind of set them up for failure, or is, is any mayor moving forward able to come into a strong mayor system and move the city forward well, after you? Sure. Well, this, well, this is a, an opportunity to move the city forward um, in the long term. And I think it's mm -hmm. so important that we're talking about a system uh, that, that this, this is not some experiment. Uh, it, it's worked well in, 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 in smaller cities and larger cities all across this mm -hmm. country for, 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 for a generation, for, for literally a century. Um, 
So this is not something brand new, although some of the scare tactics, some, some of my, um, uh, our opponents have, have used to scare uh, people, um, have, have, have led us to believe that uh, this is some, some grand step. The reality is, is that voters, it, it under, and it, it, it really does require a paradigm shift in the way in which we think, ha it, it, is, that, is that people think the council needs to run the city. I believe that the people mm -hmm. need to run the city. Every single election in Colombia, it's every two years, the people of Colombia have the right to determine who their leaders are. Right. And if people perform to their expectations, they keep them in office. If they don't, they send them home. We don't need a committee of seven people mm -hmm. determining the, the, the direction of the city every single day. We need the people to have an ultimate say. And I, and I believe strongly that a government of the people by the people and mm -hmm. for the people is what makes America great, and we need to return to that, having a strong executive branch on the local government level in Columbia, South Carolina. Mayor Steve Benjamin, thank you for stopping by this morning, and the people right now are making their way to the polls mm -hmm. and deciding. Today, the polls will be open from 7 until 7. You must be a City of Columbia resident to weigh in and show your photo ID again. Thank you so thank much, you. Mayor, you, for stopping by, folks, and we have much more ahead on Good Day Columbia, including 743 and City of Columbia voters heading back to the ballot box today. Each will decide if the capital city should remain a council manager system or change to a mayor council form of government. And just moments ago, we heard from Mayor Steve Benjamin, a supporter of a strong mayor system. Joining me now, an opposer, city councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine. Thank you so much, councilwoman, for being here this morning. Well, thank you for having me. Now, you are a supporter of the current system, correct? The council manager system. Tell me why you are a supporter of that as opposed to the strong mayor system. Okay. The council manager form of government is the most accountable form of government, contrary to what other people want you to believe. With the council manager form of government, you elect uh, six council members and a mayor, and they can focus on the policy issues and the big things, and then we collectively hire a city manager who, hire, who handles the day-to-day -day operations of the city, meaning trash collection, police and fire, code enforcement, community development. You know, there are a lot of things that the city does, and that day-to-day -day operations requires someone who is specially trained to do those kind of things. Um, the set council manager form of government is the most popular form of government in cities our size. And I heard the mayor earlier, he talked about cities like San Francisco and Los right. Angeles and Atlanta and D.C. We're not comparable to those cities, but cities nationally the size of our, um, between 100,000 mm -hmm. people and 250,000 people, Columbia is roughly 130,000 people, 70 percent of those cities nationally um, have the council manager form of government, and a lot of cities, even larger, are transforming to the council manager form wow. of government. So it is the best and most accountable form of government to the citizens. What do you say to uh, someone who supports going to a stronger form of, si of mayor system, saying, you know, the stronger mayor form of government will allow the mayor to make a swift decision versus taking time to make decisions and losing dollars? Well, I think you need to ask yourself exactly what decisions need to be made mm -hmm. swiftly. Um, and a lot of things that people talk about, I mean, I've heard commercials and I've heard the mayor talk about economic development issues. Yesterday in his press conference, he talked about an issue that council didn't um, get on. And actually, council did vote, well, we didn't vote on it. It was an executive session. We didn't have enough information. But even still, council still has that authority to make, th make those decisions. So the big decisions still come to council. So I think that's false to tell people that the mayor would be able to make quicker decisions because you have council that still has the same authorities we have now. The only thing that changes are the day-to-day -day operations okay. and those decisions about you know uh, code enforcement all that kind of stuff they ha happen quicker the only complaint I've heard as far as building inspections and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff which our current city manager who's only been in place people have to remember since January has made those changes and I've heard from lots of business people that is a lot better gotcha as a council member do you feel if we the city moves to a strong mayor system do you feel like you will lose a voice so to speak I don't feel like I will lose a voice, but I feel like the citizens will lose a voice because right now and again, every citizen elects four people. And so the mayor talks about accountability and the mayor being held accountable. I think the mayor is held accountable now. I think we are all held accountable now. And you've got four people that you can go to when you have an issue. And the, the beauty about our system is it does require strong leadership to build consensus and that we make sure that all voices are heard. We are elected by the people and we bring their voices to the table. When you have us not able to be part of some of those decisions, then yes, I think the citizens' voices are, are, are weakened.
Council Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine expressing her thoughts on why she opposes a strong mayor system and supports the council manager system. Thank you so much for Thank your time you. this morning. And voters are heading to the polls as we speak. Again, those polls will be open until 7 tonight. In the city of Columbia, you must be a city of Columbia resident to vote and you must show a photo ID. Stay with us, folks. There is much more ahead here on Good Day Columbia.